Little Free Library is a nonprofit organization that strives to inspire a love of reading by building book exchanges around the world. Fairhope's 16 known stewards of Little Libraries carry on our town's long tradition of valuing the importance of reading in this most creative way. If you take a walk down Fairhope Avenue and then turn left along the bluff, you will find three charming little libraries designed by their stewards to share their love of books with others. Southeast of downtown, these inviting book sharing boxes were challenged by hurricane season, but kept their doors open. Their stewards are hoping to turn their neighborhoods into communities of readers, one book at a time. If you are looking for a shady spot to browse book selections, you might visit the twin libraries on North Ingleside or view the amazing coastal scene painted by Deb Hopkins on Patlin. The attractive Gafer Court book box was a pandemic project for a 90-year-old dad looking for something to do. Out for an afternoon bike ride? Make a stop at the Main Street Library box on the Eastern Shore Trail. Appreciate the view from the bluff on North Bayview, or enjoy the peaceful pond at Summer Lake. Some little libraries encourage a longer visit. Listen to the chickens cluck as you sit for a spell on the swing at Washington Drive. At Silo Loop, see if you can identify the 13 quotes skillfully burned into the sides of the box. A little hint, the stewards here are Harry Potter fans. Seven of the quotes are from that book series. An array of miniatures surprise and delight visitors to Fairland Avenue. You will need some time to enjoy the detailed general store scene that fills their upper shelf. The newest little library is on the grounds of the original organic school. To the side of the Marietta Johnson Museum is an impressive replica of the Bell Building, complete with tiny tower bell. While not quite a little library, this unique book exchange might be the only free library in a cemetery. The memorial honors John Hart, who was remembered in his obituary as an avid reader. Whether you are a casual reader or an avid reader, we hope to see you soon browsing through our wonderful collection or attending a program at the Fairhope Public Library.